what are you doing? The appealing thing about comics is the unique stories that are told. Um, they're basically soap operas that have gone on for, for so long. You have stories that can go on for years, like The Walking Dead, where you get so engrossed in the characters because it's not just, oh, I read that, it was fun. It was, I've been reading this for years. I know these characters, I know these people. People really connect to some of the characters and some of the stories and they like to see what's going on every week, so it brings them back every week. You come in every Wednesday and you see, you may see the same people and next thing you know, you have all these relationships outside of the shop because of your common interests. It's also one of the only places that you can walk in as a total stranger and have a conversation with someone that you just met for like an hour and that's not considered weird or unusual. But here, you know, everyone wants to share what they like and what they don't like and what artists they like and who, what they're looking forward to. You know, it's the whole social community aspect and the gaming ties right into that. We started doing role-playing games, then we got into the card games and then into miniature games. Now we do German board games. Thursday nights is when the majority of people come to gather and at the tables that we have here and people just set up games and play all night long. People come in on Thursday nights, it's almost like an unofficial club, and we play till midnight, one in the morning, two in the morning sometimes. It's complete and utter carnage and devastation. We basically cover most of the tables with giant boards, and we play in this game Warhammer, where you build giant armies of miniatures. And you build it yourself, you customize it, you can paint it yourself, you know, whatever colors you want. We put in terrain so it's kind of like we create model railroad layouts but then instead of having trains run around them we fight big battles. Team Hopper is basically our group of longest running players. Some people who've been playing here for 20 years. Team Hopper is a group of guys that kind of grew up in the store um, that all play different games, read comics, watch the same type of movies. They all have common interests and they just basically built a friendship through the store. The different games that, that Team Hopper is involved in, it's mostly card games, um, different collectible card games. Um, we do play board games and miniature games, but the majority of the tournaments that we go to are for card games such as Spoils, uh, Netrunner, a Star Wars card game, Magic the Gathering. They travel to different tournaments around the country, uh, sometimes to national championships, and they basically represent the store for the games that they play. Through traveling as a team, people all over the country know us, and they refer to us as Team Hopper guys, and you know we've made friends all throughout the country. I guess the reason the gaming and the comics go hand in hand is because gaming is a very, very social experience, as we see it, because we only play games that you play with other real human beings in front of you. And the part that everyone loves about comic shops is the social experience. Coming in and talking to people, you know, who you know from the comic shop. These guys. So I can move four inches. Wait, does it move from the front guy? 